In the old days, if you wanted a multi-camera shoot, you had to have a huge studio with really expensive cameras and a ton of people. But it looks like Cinemaker is maybe uh, going to change things up on that. I'm with Benjamin Nowak. The, uh, uh, you're the founder? All right, let's hear about this. All right, thanks for coming by. Um, we have created a uh, tablet application that is a multi-camera production studio. Uh, we've taken what's otherwise a very time-consuming, complex process, simplified it, and put a lot of capabilities on the tablet. Um, from here, you'll see we have preview of our four different smartphones that are connected, and um, we have full remote control of each of them. Uh, you'll see, just adjusted the zoom there. Um, so I'm going to describe a little bit here. We're on, on screen, we're looking at four separate views. We've got uh, four iPhones connected up to, looks like a 12.9 12, 12 inch iPad Pro. Steve is waving at himself, so he's having some fun. Okay, keep going. Certainly. So from here, you can start a live stream or you can and, and do simultaneous HD recording. So I'll flip around one of these cameras and you'll see when I start recording, it basically will start on all the individual devices. Um, okay, so people look at the camera, get the red light to tell them that it's recording. Yep, all these red light pops up and then um, we can stop the recording or we can do a simultaneous uh, live stream. We'll so you can stop, stop one at a time or uh, all of them? All of them at once. Oh, so yeah, oh, okay. just saved them all off. Any one of them can stop all of them? Uh, just the director. This is the director pad, kind of the mission control. Okay. You can also start a live stream from here. Um, we're pre-integrated into YouTube, Facebook Live, um, or you can connect th to any RTMP destination. Now, my experience trying to connect up to YouTube Live has always been pretty much a nightmare. Is it, it, if you simplified that? Very simple. Uh, it's a matter of touching that, uh, choosing which resolution you want to send it in. Um, the app recommends that we don't want to send more than 720p, so we'll knock that down. We name our stream. I'm going to make up a fun one just for speed, and we hit start. So um, that process goes and connects to YouTube through their API, and this is our live stream. So now these images all act as a switcher, so we can go between our different cameras. So it's uh, just tapping on the four different images and the live stream is changing real time. Yes, uh, we have a graphics engine you can access here with capabilities like picture in picture where you can move that. Oh, come on, he just grabbed one of the images and just shrank it with his fingers yeah. and made it picture in picture on another one. That's crazy. Uh, yeah, we've, we've basically tried to put pretty complex features. We can turn that on. Um, you can add uh, graphics images from the camera roll. Unfortunately, I have no good samples at the moment, but you can put a graphics. It supports alpha channel. Um, can stretch, rotate, all that fun stuff. Uh, turn that on and off from here, you'll see it. This is just so simple. It looks obvious. Everything you've done here looks obvious that I would be able to figure it out. And that right. uh, was obviously the goal. Love that. Yes, absolutely. Well, that's what people expect when they use uh, tablet applications. They don't want to uh, have, they expect it to be intuitive. So we've worked hard, try to put complex features in a very simple way. Now, Cinemaker, you said, is coming out in June? June, June 23rd, we're launching at the VidCon conference in Anaheim. And how is this going to be priced? Uh, we're still working that out. It's going to be a monthly subscription, uh, somewhere in the neighborhood of $50 a month for everything you need to do a live stream, and you bring your own equipment. Now, maybe for the home user making cat videos, $50 a month sounds like a lot of money, yeah. but compared to what you've replaced, that's insanity. That's really, really good. Certainly. Yeah, it's not for uh, every consumer, but... Um, People who want to improve the quality of their, their finished productions, uh, adding another camera or two really gets you a, a nice quality. Oh, yeah, and now this is all on iOS, correct? Uh, today it's on iOS. We actually have Android is going to launch about a month or two behind it. Okay, that's great. So the product is called Cinemaker, and where would people find out more? Uh, come to our website, cinemaker.net. And that's C-I-N-A-M-A-K-E-R. Thank you very much, Benjamin. This is awesome. Thank you.